Welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 Hasu League round of 16 group D bottom right hand corner. We got top speed aka Zazu the Polish Zerg bottom left hand corner. We got Radley as the yellow Terran. I presume Radley is going to open up the double racks play once again as that early double racks pressure has been paying off for him in many of the matches thus far. It didn't pay off versus Dryah but might be different. This is on circuit breaker which actually might even be a little bit better for this, considering you've got the ramps that you can fall back to and strand some marines there to help buy some time. And now I'm actually wondering if the nine pool openers against Radley from the Zerg players have been in anticipation of him potentially opening up two racks quite often, which would make, make sense if you knew your opponent down the line rather than opening up for more of an economic aggressive opener if you know he's going to be constantly opening up throwing just a massive amount of marines and going for off timing pressure attacks might as well open up with a safer nine pool overlord making to the upper in corner for zazu so might want to invest a few initial zerglings to provide scouting information on the front we do have an in base supply depot this time for radley and that could it still has the gap to provide some defense but it could signify he's thinking about building the double racks again just wanted it down as quickly as possible so we got the first racks down we'll have to see if this turns into the quick two racks play once again we have an overlord opener in the meantime for zazu aka top speed i've left that as uh, his name up here but we've got initial drones one way and it looks like he has gone ahead and actually got was that a 11 hatch i think it was still an 11 hatch rather than a 10 hatchery um back in the corner of, was it a nine hatch and i just missed it no i'm pretty sure it was a an 11 hatch right there post overlord and spawning pool to follow on 10 and we are seeing double racks openers once again is Radley going to get first scout it looks like he's headed towards the north rather than heading towards the east so this is going to give theoretical time for zazu to potentially mount a defense we'll see if he spends really the the critical point will be will he save uh, larva to get the initial zergling flood out there and also will he pull drones in time to be able to defend this will he have the scouting information it can be very difficult for zerg to scout this sort of thing out uh, out so we got initial marines in construction second barracks just about finished the hatchery will certainly complete we've got a little bit uh, i think that extractor was a little bit later than 207 if my caster eyes are going properly but this is suggestive of two hatch opener we've already got two drones making their way to natural expansion there hasn't been an additional drone to scout drones already flooding down to the natural expansion so on the downside this is going to be later scouting information on the upside it might provide additional minerals and the marines continue to build it looks like we do have a refinery being dropped behind this so we'll see if we see again a quick marine uh batch push only a single scv on gas though and let's see if this turns into an academy rush from Radley. He's just building a lot of Marines right this second, making no motions to go grab an additional base. A creep colony already being dropped from Zazu in anticipation much, much earlier than would be otherwise. And this is a safe, strong play from him. So doing the due diligence, this SCV is making its way to the bottom right. The Zerglings going mid-map. They're going to find the Marines. They need to draw back as quickly as possible. Unfortunately for Zazu, a little bit of a delayed response. Loses one and takes some significant damage on the other. But that's a lot of Marines quite early. The Sutton Colony is complete. And there's not enough creep to potentially build a bunker at a distance. But what this does do for Radley is so he's got a, an academy right there about halfway finished behind that. If he still wants to go for a bust, he could get a fire bat down the line. A second creep colony being dropped from Zazu, recognizing the immense amount of marine pressure early. And if he holds the two bases, this is kind of the, the problem with this style of build for, for Radley, is it's anticipating your opponent flubbing the response more than anything. Um, ooh, able to pick off a couple additional Zerglings right there. But the two sunken colony should be enough to hold until some fire bats and additional marines are out in play. And man, there's a lot of marines already. We have the spire in construction behind this. And we've got a, a handful of Zerglings as well. I don't know if that's going to be sufficient. Radley looks like he's still going to get stim. He's got the medics along the way. It, he's still made no motions to grab a natural expansion. So this is going to greatly impact his economy, but it is going to provide him more bang for his buck a little bit earlier. So he's counting on a potential bust. He's building a comsat station, though, maybe to see 
success or failure, or at least to see what the tech is. Third Sunken Colony dropped and a second gas as well. So it looks like Zazu potentially recognizes that it's going to be a later natural expansion and instead wanting to invest heavily into tech. So this could transition into all in Mutalisk potentially. SCV gets killed on the front. The Zergling's going to fan right back out. Speed is upgraded on their half of the map. And right now, yeah, Radley needs to get something done with this. He's overproduced medics a little bit. Typically, this is a lot of medics, which will allow those Marines to uh, tank a good amount of damage. This is a full control group of Marines marching out. I don't see any fire bats with it. And plus one weapons is upgrading. It's going to be a while. We also have a factory behind us still on one base. The Zergling's checking for any hidden expansions but not finding much else. Or I guess Zazu never got the front door scout. I still think these three sunken colonies might be sufficient, but we got a drone moving out. That's going to find that army. And the Zerglings, in the meantime, going to turn around to try to defend the natural. We have five mutals being constructed as well. A fourth hatchery being dropped, or fourth sunken colony being dropped. And I do believe that Radley dropped a comsat behind this. He's pre-stimmed now, waiting for some healing. He's dropping certain turrets behind this and now engaging, but the Mutalisks are already in flight. The Mutalisks need to just turn around and engage the Marines here, and that should be sufficient defense. Second stim pack, two sunk colonies down. The Zerglings just now getting there alongside the Marines, and I believe this means this attack will be repelled, but it could be close because one sunk colony remains. We still have a good batch of Marines, and it looks like no. Now the drone's having to be pulled. Radley actually able to break it with the medic marine numbers and the drones being pulled off the line and losing their lives, the sunk colony is still going to stand. The medic's going to back off from here, but there was significant economic damage done. Interestingly enough, though, in an instant redrop of those creep colonies, but without that natural expansion from Radley, if we get another worker cycle once these mutalisks take flight, I don't know that... Zazu's going to be in that horrible position. He's still not where he wants to be economically. This actually puts them right about even, but Radley does have some ground to catch up in getting his natural expansion up and getting that SCV count functional as well. He's got a whole lot of medics, though, and doesn't need to produce them for quite some time. Also is going to have pretty decent timing as far as that science vessel count, but it's still going to be... And so we'll still have an irradiate. It looks like it's only four mutalisks making their way up, an overlord along that corner. I don't know that they're going to be able to get a lot accomplished because that's not a one shot. That's not a double shot uh, territory, but at least they are going to be able to provide some scouting information. Right now, the Marines out of... Ooh, look at this. So Radley saying, okay, your Mutalisks are here and you don't have any forward scouting information. I'm just going to go ahead and move another massive army out. There are three sunken colonies here, but critically, those Medic Marines could potentially punch through those three sunken colonies once again before those Mutalisks are able to get back to home base. So Zazu, honestly, if Zazu is going to defend this, he needs to pull those Mutalisks back now. And right now, he's delaying around the supply depots. However, fortunately for him, Radley is playing this a little bit slow. He's, he's hesitating. An additional creep colony. This is almost forced into uh, crazy Zerg style. The Mutalisks continue to engage. Four sunken, four sunken colony is not yet morphed and you can remember that earlier battle that happened however now we've got three mutalisks above this but radley also delaying and the mutalisk moving forward oh one of them gonna get taken out for certain the second highly wounded and now the rest of the medic marines fanning in excellent focus fire mutalisk getting popped very very rapidly and again i don't know that this is enough for zazu the mutalisks are drawing back but i have a feeling they're just going to end up being too late and that's going to be a dead hatch with the natural expansion that's certainly going to put radley ahead so Radley now marching into the natural, and the Mutalists, unless they have just absolutely flawless micro, are not going to be enough to defend this with the plus one weapons there and range completed. So Radley, through some solid aggression and abusing his opponent's ability to react to a bit off-standard play, is going to take game one. And that's how he's been moving through the bracket thus far. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.